Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and I may sound a little nasally, but um, I got this summer cold ear infection stuff going on, but I'm good. Got me some shots and some medicine yesterday and I'm all good. So say hey once you hop on and um, if you're watching replay, thank you for being here. Hope you give this a try. Um, I've not done this before, but we're just gonna go with it tonight. Hey Tina. Um, so we're going to get started. I'm feeling a little, I'm better than I was yesterday. Yesterday I felt like dog poo. It was horrible. Um, so I decided yesterday afternoon to jump up and go to the doctor. I've been fighting it for since the weekend. And, uh, hey Kimberly, hey Amy, hey Cynthia. Um, you know, I told y'all I felt like I had stuff in my throat. Well, that progressed and I finally, yesterday I gave up and said, I'm going to the clinic. Went to the clinic, they gave me some shots, some medicine. I just got the sinus and um, my ear, ears were red. So I'm glad I went on. So I, um, I'm on the mend. So right now I'm running on um, steroid shots and antibiotics and stuff. So I'm a whole lot better than I was yesterday. And I, makeup on and everything I looked like terrible yesterday I was horrible so yes I am oh you like my shirt I've had this a while I don't know where I got it I was kind of feeling Gen X tonight so I said I'm wearing my Bon Jovi shirt um oh good Christine yes hey Judy from California hey Lou it's so good to see all of you so we did the paint stick craft the other night and I thought, well, since y'all run out and buy paint sticks, let's do something else with some paint sticks. So we're going to use the 12 inch ones and that come in that pack of 10 for like a dollar at Walmart. And then I'm using the big ones. These are the big mama jammas. <laughs> um, Lynette, I'm much better than I was. I was, yesterday I was pitiful. So I started started feeling like that like last weekend like I felt <clears throat> kind of like stuff was in my throat and I thought I'll just take some meds and over-the-counter stuff it'll go away well I had to give it up yesterday and went to the doctor so um no COVID or anything like that it's just the sinus and um just being I guess from the wedding and running around crazy and tired and ran myself down so but um oh you're okay Sheree I hadn't even got started yet Hey, Mary Ann. Hey, Deanna. Okay, so we're going to use, um, I think, two packs of these because they only come three to a pack, the big ones. So they are, doesn't say how long they are, but they are, I mean, they're a good size. Y'all see how tall they are in comparison to the little ones, okay? So it's almost two of them, almost. So they're pretty big and they're thick, okay? So I figured, well, y'all were going to do the latter and I was just going to go off of that. Yes, Linda, thank you. I'm much better than I was. Okay, so <clears throat> we are going to make a shutter. Um, I just kind of started, got in here today and started playing with these sticks and I thought, I want to do this shutter and we're going to zhuzh it up and make it all cute. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, I feel better. Um, I had to feel better because guys, we're leaving to go to the beach on Saturday for a week. And I'm going to craft with y'all while I'm there. So don't think I'm leaving y'all. Um, cause it is supposed to rain some cause there's like a tropical depression coming. Carmen, they don't have paint sticks in the paint section at Walmart, you know, where they sell all the buckets of paint. Really? They have like where the paint brushes are and all the little foam brushes and chip brushes. They should be right there in these packs. That's crazy. Um, anyway, so I'm going to take some stuff and we're going to craft at the beach because it's going to rain a little bit. So I'm going to craft with y'all. And of course, if I go in some cool stores, you know, I'm going to take y'all and go live. Zinc and elderberry. Yes, I have zinc. I started taking that. Um, you made two ladders, Billy. Awesome. I got mine in my kitchen. All leaned up. It's all cute. Okay, so what I did was, they come three, the big ones come three to a pack, okay? 
So I got two packs here and I just, you know how they have the handle at the end, that little dip thing. I just alternated them and laid them like this. So I'm trying to get them straight and we are going to, hey Angie, they've been out forever. I know Home Depot, Lowe's, they, ha they all have them and they're about the same price. Some people say that they, um, Second row, February 87, St. Louis Bon Jovi. Awesome. I saw Bon Jovi with my son um, three years ago. He came to Memphis, and the man still has it, okay? Let me just say, he may be 55, 56, however old he is, but he still has it. I'm sorry. Uh, he's the real deal, though. If you uh, don't know much about John Bon, bon Jovi, we're going to get schooled on him tonight. Um he, um, okay, so I'm putting these like this, and now I'm just going to attach them while we're talking. So that's what the part, i got to figure out how we're going to do this. Um, oh, here's me some already open. Okay, I'm just going to grab, we might use this. I'm not really sure because I don't know if I'm going to be able to, if this is going to hold it for me. So this is my back side. Well, let me flip this over. <laughs> Because they have the ruler on them too, guys. Just like the little ones, they have the ruler. And I want the ruler on the back, so I'm going to flip mine. Okay. Make sure they all... Okay, got it going. Um, oh, shutter. Yes, we're going to make a shutter. A cheap shutter, too. Because we're only talking a dollar, a dollar so far. Uh, anyway. So, if you don't know anything about John Bon Jovi... He, um, he, has a, he has a couple of restaurants, I think. I know he has one in New Jersey, but I don't know if he has more than one. Um, but he will let people come eat there for free. Like, whatever you can pay, you can eat, okay? And, like, he works at the restaurant some and stuff like that. Um, you're okay, Lisa. Just glad you're here. Um, so, he's, like, the real deal. You know, I mean, he's he gives back to his community and he gives back to his people. So, it's not like he just makes all this money and he's just off the face of the earth. So, um, if you um, read up on him, I mean, he's he's a good guy. He really is. But I saw him, like I said, about three years ago, and he still has it, I promise. Um, I told my son, I said, I'm going to embarrass you at the concert. So, just you're just going to have to roll with it because I'm going to embarrass you. I'm going to be singing at the top of my lungs, and I, I did. Um, okay, so... This is my backside, so we've got to have a way to figure out how to hook it, to make it stay together. And I'm hoping that this is going to work, but I'm kind of thinking that I might. Oh, good. You better get order some shirts. Awesome. I know. I'm trying to figure out how to get these connect together where they won't go anywhere. I think I'm just going to go with the big one. So this is going to be another one out of another pack. So I've got two packs. And then this one. But I'm going to do um, E6000 and I'm going to do hot glue. Okay. So, you know, I got my key. But anyway. But um, do it. If you have some time, look him up. Look up John Bon Jovi. And uh, he's been married to the same lady since forever. 30-something years. And they have kids and... They, he sing, I mean, they sing and all that good stuff, but um, he's like the real deal, you know, to come out of that kind of lifestyle, I guess, I don't know if you'd call it a lifestyle, but just being on the road and touring and all that, all those years that he did and have the same wife, the same, you know, he's still married to the same lady. They have kids, you know, like his high school sweetheart or whatever. They've been married forever, but, and then he has these restaurants and he, you know, he does all this great stuff and gives back to his his community is is awesome. I mean, that speaks volumes. There's not a lot of people that do that kind of stuff. So, I happen to like him. <laughs> Can you tell? Okay. I liked him back then, and I still like him now. All right, so I'm just pushing them together, and I'm going to sit here and let this set up a minute. Yeah, they were high school sweethearts. I think so, Tina. Yes. He is a great man. He is. Yeah, he does a lot of stuff for homeless, and um, he does a lot of stuff. So I'm hoping this is going to hold, but I'm kind of worried that it's not. So I may have to throw me a little one over here. 
But when we do the, what we're going to do to the front, it's going to hold. Dorothea, that's her name. Okay. So it's stuck, and I'm going to turn it over. All right, that's my back, okay? And this is not going to do what I want it to do. So I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to prop it up over here. There we go. Cause it's wanting to kind of sag right there. So I'm just gonna prop, put that there and prop it up. Okay, so you remember how I showed y'all how we scored these the other night and we cut them? So that's what I did with, it, with two, I did, I mean, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so this, the regular little ones, all I did was I laid it down Cause we're gonna, I'm gonna cover up that part where you see the little indentations. Let me get that under there, like that. Okay, the little indentations in the handles. I'm gonna cover that up and we're gonna make our little piece that goes across. Um, he's easy on the eyes, Bonnie. Yes, he is. Um, so I'm just kind I just laid it across and I measured how far, I, you know, till I want to, to the edge over here. Um, so I just kind of made me a little pencil mark and I've already cut two for the bottom ahead of time. So y'all wouldn't have to sit here and watch me pop all of them. And I did one up here. So we're going to, I'm doing two down here of the little paint sticks. That's going to be our little piece. I don't know what you want to call that. Susie, we're not on replay. You're watching me live, baby. Okay. So I just made my little mark. I don't know if you can see it. And then I'm gonna take my ruler somehow on top of all this. Let me move everything over. There we go. And I'm going to score on that little mark that I made with my X-Acto knife. And I got like a little ruler here, it's metal, but. So I got my X-Acto knife blade and um, My husband is getting in the pool. <laughs> anyway, I'm like, who is that man in my pool? But it's my husband getting in the pool. Okay, so I'm just kind of scoring several times right here on that mark that I made. And if you do it several times, hey, Paige. And then I score on the side, on the edge right there. And then I score on the other side. And then you could just pretty much pop it apart, okay? And if it looks all jagged, kind of like that, I'm just gonna uh, reach over here and get my sander. Hey, Mary from Startville, you're not far from me. Okay, so I am just going to just kind of sand it off. But if it looks a little rough, it's okay. Gives a little character. Uh-oh, I'm frozen. You cut mine with scissors, oh my goodness. You must be strong, Sheree. I sound like Dolly Parton. Well, I'm from the South. <laughs> okay, so I got my two down here, and now I've got two up here. So I did four of the of the little ones, and I'm having to prop it up. Hang on, because that piece on the back is holding it off the table. And so where that piece is not at, it just kind of sits there. Okay, now. So I've got my two pieces down here and it perfectly covers up that little indentation where the handle is. I hope I'm making sense. Okay. So I'm going to get my hot glue gun and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hot glue these. But if you were gonna put this like on your porch or something like that, then definitely I would use something more than hot glue, because it will probably not hold up in the heat. At least it wouldn't hold up here. I'm not frozen, okay. Maybe somebody needs to go out and come back in. Okay, so I got one down, and they have the little rulers, so if you wanna use the ruler, you absolutely can. Um, it make give a little character to it. Who's a uh, candy guy? Um. I guess we were talking about, we we're talking about Bon Jovi, John Bon Jovi. We had a little discussion about him. We were getting educated about John Bon Jovi. So he, um, he's the real deal. <laughs> so anyway, all right, so there's one side. 
So I'm gonna flip it around. And so this is gonna give it some support too. So I went ahead and cut these ahead of time, but I showed y'all how to cut one and we cut them the other night just with the X-Acto knife and pops right in half. Okay, so glue this one down. But we're gonna add some cute stuff to this. And this would look so cute, you know, leaned up against your fireplace or anything like that. Um, yeah, you can just swipe to the side and your comments should go away if you can't see me. Coming in late and hot from Kansas, Deb. Hot and late. <laughs> it's all right. You are just fine. Just glad you're here. Okay. All right, so that's there. Good, I'm not frozen. Okay, all right. So there's my back. So y'all see how I did the back. Now we can move this. And so here's my front. So we already have a shutter, just like that. Wham, bam, there it is. So see, I got two down here. And mine's not perfect, guys. So don't think, you know, okay, well, mine's not perfect. See, that's, this one's sticking out further than that one. And I mean, the back, you can see it's not perfect. But that's okay, because we kind of want it to look a little distressed and worn. So don't think, oh, well, mine don't look perfect. It'll be okay, I promise. <coughs> so y'all excuse me if I had to cough. I just hope I don't have a, a huge coughing spell. <laughs> okay, all right. So now I think I'm going to stain it or stain it, and then I'm going to, like, do white over it. Yes, Christine, I did. I fixed my glue gun. And I'm hoping it's not going to do that again. So I'm just putting, this is burnt umber. And then this is just a little black. Sometimes I'll add a little black to my burnt umber just to give it a little deeper tone. Just a little bit of black. Okay, so look, I just put a little dollop of black in there. And where's my paintbrush? Here it is. Do you have a she shed? I have, um, I'm in a pool house. <laughs> I took over the pool house because I have lasers and everything else. And um, so I had to take over our pool house. Hey, Bill. Oh, you love my shirt? Yeah. I just felt like Gen X tonight, so why not? I'm an 80s girl through and through. 80s is the best music ever. Um, my 23-year-old son thoroughly agrees with me. Yes, I raised him right, and he, when I said, like three years ago, when I said, hey, do you want to go see Bon Jovi with me? He was like, heck yeah, we're going. <laughs> so, I took him to see Bon Jovi with me. So, I'm just put a little water. Probably need a little more water. Okay, here's the perfect time for me to show y'all the bottom of that paint thing. Can y'all see those little knobby things on the bottom before my water gets all dirty? got like little knobbies on the bottom because I know y'all were asking about it the other night it's called a paint puck okay all right so I'm just gonna start painting or staining or whatever you want to call it this big monster shutter but you could do two of these and like hang them on your wall and put something in the middle like a window frame or something, and this would be so adorable. But see how dark, that little bit of black in that burnt umber just gives it a little bit more of a deeper, richer tone. So sometimes I'll add a little black to it. And I don't have a lot of water here. I'll add a little more. But it's okay, because we're gonna paint over this. We're gonna do a different painting technique on it. So it's not really going to show a lot. Or you could just stain it and leave it like this. I guess my hubby decided he was going to get in the swimming pool. See, I have a very good view of the pool with this big window over here. Where all my little plants and my hangers and my sun catchers are. Yeah, 70s and 80s was good music. I was born in the 70s, raised in the 80s. I guess. Teenager in the 80s. 
But yeah, my son would, he'd much rather listen to 80s stuff than um, anything nowadays. Ah! I'm just gonna paint on Bon Jovi, but it's okay. Yes, whoever came up with that paint puck thing is genius. I got a little dark over this side, but it's okay, because we're gonna cover over it. I just want to get this base coat down. Yeah, I'm making a shutter, and we're gonna hang a cute thing on it, and we're gonna decorate it all up. Yes, I'm going to the beach next week. We're going to Destin, Florida, and we're taking the kids, and but I'm gonna craft with y'all, and of course, if I see anything cool in a store, I'm gonna go live and show it to you. I gotta take my friends with me. Can't leave y'all out. I haven't been to the beach. Well, we went on a cruise a couple of Christmases ago before COVID, and um, I went to the beach, of course, on the cruise, but we haven't been to like the beach beach in like five years, which is unheard of for me. Because I used to live much closer to the beach, and we would go to the beach all the time. But now I'm seven hours away, so it takes a little while to get there. 50s music's good, too. Give me some Elvis Presley any day. My mama loved Elvis. I grew up listening to Elvis. My kids know all the Elvis songs, too, because she used to listen to it all the time. I love some Elvis. But look how pretty that is. Got a little dark on this side, but it's okay. Cause like I said, we're gonna cover it up, but you could totally leave it like this and do yours, just the stain technique. But like I said, I added just a touch of black in with my burnt umber. That gives it a little bit of a darker, darker look to it. So much easier than staining. And they know all the songs. They grew up listening to it because you were listening to it. Where did I get that paint puck thing? It's in my Amazon shop, but you can go directly to their website. This is the jar size. It's the biggest one because I was worried about getting one that's too small. But I probably could have went with the mug size and been just fine. But um, they have a cup and a mug and a jar size, I think. They have other stuff too, so... Um, they have some little pucks that go down in the bottom of your, your water jar that you can just buy those. Or I just went ahead and got the whole deal and treated myself because I don't, I don't buy lots and lots of gadgets and stuff because, I don't know, I'm just real practical and I broke down and bought it because I've been eyeing it for a while. They've been out of the jar size for a long time. And so I waited until they got it back in stock and I got it. But it's, I mean, it's kind of pricey for a paint jar, but it'll last me forever. Cause it's silicone and it holds your brushes. Okay, so there, you know, the back, I'm probably not gonna do the back just because we'll be here forever. Cause we still gotta do another step. Just making sure I've got all of my, so I'll go back and do the back later but you're probably not even gonna see the back. I gotta get in all these little cracks. Okay. Look how pretty it already is. Who knew that was paint sticks about five minutes, well, 10 minutes ago? What does the paintbrush thingy do? Okay, so it has this, it all comes apart. There's a bottom piece, the acrylic, this is not glass, it's acrylic. And then this piece, all of it comes apart. Like all three pieces come apart where you can clean it but it holds your brushes, like this is a big fat brush, but um, like if you put your paint brush in here and you want to let it dry, you just clip it to the side and it has this one, this one, this one. I mean, it'll hold, I don't know how many brushes are on the outside. And then it has a little pan here where they can drip. So, um, but when you put your paint brush, see those little knobbies on the bottom in there? So when you put your paint brush in here, you can just rub it over the bottom like this and it helps get the paint off your brush. So you can just kind of do it all around. But like when I get ready to clean it, I'll just take it all apart and wash it off in the sink and let it dry. So I can just take this paintbrush, which it's a fat paintbrush, so it probably won't fit. 
but I can just stand it up in that little tray right there, which it won't stand because it's a fat paintbrush. I just treated myself to it because I liked it. Because I used an old mason jar and it was rough looking. Yeah, it's a pretty color. And when you, you're going to watch it dry and it'll lighten up a little bit. And look how pretty that is just on its own. Now I got heavy over here, but we're going to cover it up. But I mean, this is a big, substantial piece. Look really pretty if you weathered it gray. You got a purple one, Monica? Oh, I like the purple too. This is the green. Um, they have blue, pink, green, and purple, I think. And I really liked it. I stumbled upon it online somewhere months ago. And I put it off forever. I'm not... I'm usually not a pull the trigger person. Oh, Teresa, I'm gonna be, yes, I'm gonna be in Destin. That would be awesome. Beaches are at the end of the street and you have been in five years. What's wrong with you? Duran Duran, Pink, Death Leopard. Oh my gosh. That sounds like an awesome concert. That would be fun. You know, they were supposed to do that. Uh, Motley Crue and a whole bunch of them were supposed to tour last year and that all got canceled because of COVID and I hadn't heard anything else about them redoing that I don't know maybe they did I just didn't hear about it but that would be so awesome to see all of them yes you could paint a verse on it I mean you could even turn it this way and make a cool sign with that do it however you want to do it you got the purple mug? Yeah, Patricia, the mug's going to be a good size because this jar is pretty big. Um, Judy, I got it. Amazon has them if you'll just type in paint puck, P-U-C-K, like a hockey puck, and it'll come up. But they have a website called paintpuck.com. Yes, KB, the desert is really pretty. The water's blue. You can see the bottom. You can see if there's any critters coming after you. So, um, yes, Bon Jovi. Oh, you ordered some shirts, Monica? Yes. I love those shirts. I'll be taking every one of those on vacation. T-shirts and shorts and flip-flops on the beach. Okay. I'm going to turn that off. All right, so there's my shutter. Here's the back. I haven't painted it, but I will later. I did use E6000 and hot glue, so... Just for um, giggles, I guess. So now, I think, let me get rid of my little muddy water, as I like to call it. Let me make some room. You were supposed to go to that concert, but it was canceled. Oh, that would be awesome. Oh, it's like a dream. Okay, well, let's pick some happy mail. Happy mail. Let me just go way back. Now, I may not mail out your happy mail to you for about a week. <laughs> Bobby Bean from Flintstone, Georgia. Flintstone, Georgia. Bobby Bean. If you will message me your address, I will send you this cool little guy from my shop. Let me get back to where I was. Oh, I went way up down there. So message me your address, Bobby, and you'll get this little guy to paint and put together for yourself. What color stain? Nicole, I used burnt umber, apple barrel, and then I just put a dot, a little bit of black, and I mixed it together, and I added the water, and then I just brushed it on, and that's what it looks like. So it takes out that red tone a little bit. It makes it really pretty. <coughs> Y'all have to excuse me from coughing. Gosh, you already got a Monday. You ordered Monday and gone today. Wow. They're on the ball. Okay. So, I didn't think about what I was going to use this with, but we're going to do this. Okay. So, I'm going to use, I'm going to put some Vaseline on this. And you may have seen people do this before. It's just regular old petroleum jelly. Um, and I'm just going to take a paintbrush, an old ratty paintbrush. And I'm just going to kind of... Smear it in just different places on my board. 
because we're gonna paint a color over this and wherever that Vaseline is, the paint's not gonna adhere there. And we're gonna scrape it off and it's gonna look all like chippy, kinda. It's, I say it's going to. So I'm just kinda smearing this Vaseline, my paintbrush, just here and there. You really can't mess up, I promise. So I'm just putting it more, if you want it to look a lot chippy, put a lot different, a lot of spots. So I'm just gonna, just putting the Vaseline on the paintbrush and just painting some Vaseline. You can do this with wax. If you have like a little votive candle, you can rub it on there. Oh, Cinderella, oh yeah, I would love to see them too. Reliving my childhood, my teenage years. But you could do this with a votive candle. If you have a votive candle, you can just rub the wax in different places and it'll do the exact same thing. Pretty neat. So I'm just kind of putting some here and there. Okay, maybe it's gonna turn out like I want it to. So what you're gonna see underneath there is the dark. All right, let me put that over here. So now, let me get my other plate. Can't wait to see the chippy look. I hope it turns out like I want it to. So this is plaster. It's not white and it's not ivory. It's almost white. <laughs> I guess that would be a good word for it. And I'm gonna use, this is one of those Walmart chippy brushes. I'm gonna use a wide one just so it won't take me as long. Crafts to how cool is that? Oh, he does crafts with you? That's awesome. Okay. So I'm just getting, you can't even see the paint for the light. See, it's not white, but it's not ivory. It's like an off-white. It's pretty. Okay. So, and we'll start here. And I'm just going to kind of, I'm just going to go in, well, say I go in one motion, but she can go back and forth. It doesn't really matter. I don't want to smear that Vaseline too much. All right. Chapstick, yeah. Chapstick would probably work too. You can get that at Dollar Tree. You can get the Vaseline at the Dollar Tree too. I love the chippy look too. So we're gonna see if this is gonna turn out, which I've done this before. I did it on our turkeys at Thanksgiving, the turkeys that we that I cut and had that class. That's what we did. And they turned out so pretty. Get my sides over here. But see that even just the brush strokes itself looks really pretty anyway. With the chippy, these chippy brushes, it makes a pretty rough looking paint anyway so see even with me just brushing that on down here it just looks it doesn't cover it fully so it looks pretty wood graver for father's day and he is happy my paintbrush just hit the butt the dust so these i love these chippy brushes and how they paint but so we're just going to help it out a little bit with the vaseline a little bit more Thank y'all for spreading the love. And while we're sitting here talking um, and I'm painting, um, you can join my text service if you wanna get notified when I go live or when my, sh when my shop restocks, that's a mouthful. Um, just text join to that number right there and you will be in like Flynn. And you will be on the service. And when I go live, I always text and tell you when I'm going live. Because I know Facebook has been having some troubles lately with notifications. All right, I'm just kind of tapping my sides. Like I said, I'll do the back later if I even do the back at all. Okay, so look, it looks pretty by itself. Just like that, it looks pretty. But now we're going to... Help it out a little bit. I gotta wipe my hands off. 
before I transfer this paint everywhere else. <laughs> yes, I'm planning on having a good vacation. It's been, because you know, we didn't go anywhere last year because of COVID. Um, but I was getting my business off the ground and starting all of this, so I didn't go anywhere. Um, but COVID hit too, so that, that didn't help. But, um, so I'm excited, but I'm going to go and, I mean, I'm going to go live, so don't think I'm going to leave y'all. I've already got my little pile of stuff over there. Take with me. Okay, so you can use anything. You can use a credit card. You can use whatever you want to. I'm just using this paint scraper from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to pull this paint, and you can scrape as much or as little as you want to. And I'm gonna show you in just a second, you'll see where the Vaseline doesn't, the paint is not there, but you're also scraping some of the paint off. So you're kind of helping out the process. It's messy. Where we're going, we're going to Destin, Florida. We just love that area. It's so very pretty. All right, so see, you can tell the spots here and there where I put the Vaseline, but it also kind of drags the Vaseline and pulls that paint. But I mean, if you want to scrape more, you can, and it just pulls that paint right off. So see how pretty that is? So it's really neat what you can do, you know, with the paint. And, but you can do it with wax. If you have a votive candle, that'll work just the same. And it makes it look old and kind of beat up, chippy. So basically you're just scraping that paint off the top of that Vaseline. So just get after it and scrape it. But you could use a credit card. You could use anything that's got a straight edge to it. it would be would work fine. And you just have to keep wiping that paint off of your scraper. You kind of have to work at it though because these little nooks and crannies on this thing, it's not a solid surface. But if you don't like the chippy look, you can leave it stained. Um, but you can see, like see down here where I put, you see spots where I had the Vaseline. I know Maria Storm is coming, I know, but I've had this book for months, so um, I gotta go. <laughs> but see where the Vaseline was in those spots, but then some places it just dr it drug the paint right off, so it looks fine. But you could go back and paint some more if you wanted to, if you didn't like it that, that much um, chippy and that much rustic looking, you could go back and do more. So, but we've looked at the forecast. It's supposed to rain a couple days and, you know, then the rest of the week is like 40%. But, you know, that's every day at the beach because it's going to come up a little, um, a little shower. Yes, I'm staying in a condo in Destin. Yeah, you can wipe it off with a paper towel. You can do that. I like to scrape. I don't know. I just like the scraping. Oh, thank you, Becky. This part, you have to be careful because you did put Vaseline on it. And the Vaseline heats up and, you know, all that stuff. But we're all good. Just going to kind of get it a little dry. Okay. Now, so, I'm going to set this to the side because then we're going to, well, not really set it to the side. But we're going to work on something else because I'm going to hang a wreath on this. But we're going to make something for the wreath to hang on, okay? So I like pondered over my whole craft room thinking of something that I could use, which I know I have some of those black handles like you put on those rounds, the black uh, cabinet handles. I couldn't find them. So I was like, well, they may not can get those either. So we're going to make something to put right here because I'm going to put a wreath on here. Um... So, I came up with this. <laughs> this is my, just a craft stick um, from the Dollar Tree. I don't even know where my pack is. Somewhere. 
um, just a regular size, like tongue depressor size is what I call it, uh, craft stick. And then we're going to use these little cubes, the little pack of cubes from the Dollar Tree. We're going to, um, we're going to do, we're going to make a little thing. So let's see. Can't tell where my, where my paint sticks, it filled in the crack and I can't tell where my paint sticks start and begin. Okay. So I'm just going to put my little blocks down because I'm trying to see how long I want to make my little handle, handle thing. All right. So, so I'm going to draw me a little line here approximately how long I want to make it. So I just drew some little lines. You probably can't see it right there. And I'm going to cut my scissors. My scissors. My scissors. Uh, here's a pair of scissors. I don't really like these, but we're going to use them because I don't know where my scissors are. And I'm just going to cut my little craft stick on those lines that I made. And these little guys cut so good. And then you could, um, I'm just going to kind of sand the edges. So we're going to make us a little, a little handle. Okay, while wow, this is over here drying. I'm going to put my big brush down in my paint puck. Okay, this was plaster, Waverly plaster. Yeah, if it's rainy at the beach, better than a pretty day here so I'm good with that we can go shopping okay Let me get my... okay so I got my little blocks because we're making us a little handle if you don't have it we'll just make it right okay so I'm just gonna put me a couple of dots of glue on my blocks because I have a bunch of these little blocks and everybody's like what do you do with these little blocks well I'm using two of them. <laughs> I love Destin too. It's just so pretty. The water is beautiful. And we loved it so much when we went. We took the boys five years ago. When we got married, we went on a cruise for our honeymoon. And then we came back. And then a month later, we took all of our boys on a kid honeymoon. We went to Destin for a week. And they loved it. Okay, so, so now I've got my little, get all the glue strings off of it, my little makeshift handle. So it's going to go, we're going to put it up here, but I'm going to paint it first. Because that's what I'm going to hang my wreath with. Okay. So now i got to get my, try not to get into my plaster, but I'm going to paint this little thing black. I'm going to paint it black. That's my Vaseline brush. Running out of brushes. I have to use this. Nope, here's a little brush. Oh, you have reservations in September. That'd be nice. We like to go in June because we were trying to beat, you know, the hurricane season that starts the 1st of June, but now there's a tropical depression out there. So, but it'll be all good. We'll have quality family time. We'll take board games and stuff with us. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Still be rest and relaxation. Watching it rain at the beach. <laughs> but I'll go live and craft with y'all. Already started packing up my stuffs. My crafting supplies. So see, it's going to look just like a little handle. Because I knew I had those handles around here somewhere but I couldn't find them. I organized my craft room so good that I couldn't find them. I'm trying to paint and hold it at the same time. It's not working out too good. Okay, so there's my, my little makeshift thing. Can't get it too hot, I don't want my glue to melt. Yeah, I've been to Florida I've been everywhere. Key West, all the way down one side and all the way up the other side. 
Yeah, I live right below Memphis. I see somebody ask, I guess. I live in Mississippi, right below Memphis. Uh, Penny, the kids used to craft with me a lot when they were younger. But, you know, now it's teenage years and that kind of cramps their style. Every once in a while they will. They'll want to make something. Tibby, Al Tabby Island, never heard of that. Yeah, be respectful of the water, exactly. So pretty down there. Cause it'll suck you out in a heartbeat. All right, so that's dry. I got some glue I need to get off. Texas, grew up in Pensacola Beach. That's a nice area too. All right, so here is my little handle. So now let me turn it back around where you can see. So this is gonna be, <laughs> it's like a slinky. It just went all the way down the thing. I didn't even try to do that. I couldn't do that if I tried. Oh, you've never been anywhere down south. Come on down, girl. Southern hospitality. It's a real thing. We love everybody. Friends with everybody. Don't meet a stranger. Okay. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put this little thing. It's our little handle. Didn't cost $3 at Home Depot. It cost barely nothing from the Dollar Tree. Because I couldn't find mine. Okay, so I think I'm just going by my my um crap my paint sticks to kind of see where the middle is okay so i'm just gonna glue and put some glue there and try like heck to get it straight oh tibby tibby isle tibby island in Georgia. They got an island in Georgia? Okay. Y'all like that rolling down there, didn't it? <laughs> it just rolled right on down there. Okay, so there's my little handle. And obviously you couldn't attach anything super heavy. But that's okay, because I'm not. But look how cute, see my little handle? Looks just like a little handle, doesn't it? Ain't that cute? Look out for jellyfish. Yes, I got, I've already put my vinegar. I went to the Dollar Tree today, which is not far from my house, and got a few things I needed. And I got a spray bottle and I've already put vinegar in it so we can put it in our bag in case somebody gets stung by a jellyfish. You know, mama's got to have all that stuff. Okay. So, yeah, I got all that ready. 45 minutes. Okay, so see, there's my handle. But no, you could just leave it like this, put you a saying on it. You could have turned it this way and put a saying on it, whatever you want to do. But we're just, I'm going to hang a wreath on it. And, okay, so I love to buy these from Walmart. They're like 97 cents, these little, you can see I've picked off this very well. <laughs> but they have them at Walmart pretty much all the time. So I cut a bunch of these off today, and I made this cute little wreath with it. I just bent them and I used floral tape. I don't know if you can see it cause I couldn't find my floral wire either guys. I don't know what I did with it. Um, I couldn't find my floral wire. So I just took my floral tape and kind of wrapped them around hot glued and just bent them and made this cute wreath. So this, this became this for 97 cents. I don't know how many sprigs I used cause I had like a bin that I throw stuff in over here. So it may have been, may have, maybe two of these, maybe. I'm not really sure, but, so even for two bucks, I had this cute, cute little wreath, okay? I just bent them and attached them all together and glued them and tied them and all kinds of stuff and made this cute, adorable little wreath. So you could keep this out all year. You could put this on it. You could do a Christmas wreath. You could do whatever you wanted to, change it out, do an autumn wreath. Um, so, I have this fabric, this ticking, that I tore a piece. See, it's it's got. I've been wanting to use it for something, but I used it on the flag that we did, the little flag. 
Um, and so I just tore a piece and I'm going to make a little, I'm going to tie this up and on our handle with it. Indian Pass Campground. All right, let's find somebody else for Happy Mail. Gwen Chambers, do I have all boys? Yes, I have two of my own. One just got married. So Gwen, if you will message me your address, I will send you a little patriotic gnome guy for you to paint. Um, yes, I have four boys. One's 23, he just got married. Um, I have one of my own that's 15, and then I have a stepson who's 15, and a stepson who's 14. So yes, I have all boys. Okay, so I, like I said, I just tore it to, so I can get that tattered look and see how long I want it to hang down so I'll know. Okay, so I'm just kind of eyeballing it, guys. Where's my scissors? I don't know where my other scissors are. These do not cut fabric well. These are like Dollar Tree kitchen scissors. Let me throw this under here. Okay, so all I did was just cut a strip. We're just gonna make us a little, so I'm gonna glue it together and make us a little loop-de-doo thing, whatever you wanna call that. And I'm gonna loop it under, and like when I get ready to take this off here, of course I'll have to cut it, but it'll be okay. So I'm just gonna kinda, let me move back where you can see what I'm doing. I'm kinda seeing how long I need to make it to where it looks like it's gonna hang right. Let's see, I think that's good. See it, so it's gonna look like this. Isn't that cute? But you could use ribbon, you could use whatever you wanna use to, um, to just uh, attach. You could use jute, burlap, whatever you wanna use. I just wanted to use this ticking. I love this ticking uh, fabric. Oh, Robbie. <laughs> I probably packed them. Darla, I probably did. They're probably over in my pile I got over there. Yeah, somebody's asking what I stained. I used burnt umber and a little bit of black mixed with it. And then I painted over it with Vaseline and paint. Okay, so I'm going to roll that around to the back where you don't see that. But look how stinking cute this is. But you could change, you could do, you know, change this out for whatever. And I think I may even tie, I think this will look cute too. Let's do this. Now that I see it, you could change the ribbon out for the holidays. You could do a Christmas wreath. You could do uh, um, uh, an, a, a real pretty fall wreath. You could do anything like that. You could put words on here. You don't even have to hang a wreath. But that's just paint sticks. And I mean, you would never know that this was paint sticks. So I think I'm gonna tie some jute right here just to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit, add a little something something to it. Yeah, so many ideas in your head. And this is just cheap paint sticks. Okay. Tying a bow, y'all. Sinus medicine's got me on the edge over here. Maybe it's the Bon Jovi shirt. So I'm just tying a little, a little jute bow around my, whoop, around my ribbon right here to kind of cinch it up in the middle. But there's so much you could do with this. Okay, that makes it look a little bit better. See how I, I just tied that with some jute? I just tied it right in the middle and it kind of gives it a little extra something something. But look how stinking cute this is. And this was the little dollar greenery from Walmart and paint sticks. <laughs> You'd never know, but can you see two of these like with a window pane in the middle? It would be so cute on a wall. Um, yes, darling, you need to get some paint sticks, but don't forget it's, um, these are the, the five gallon. See how it says five gallon? And then the regular ones are just, they don't say one gallon. They just say 12 inch paint sticks. They come 10 to a pack, but then these only come three to a pack. And so I used one pack and then I used one on the back, which you could use the little ones for the back if you wanted to. Oh, thank you, Rosemary. 
but yeah, these are the big ones. So see, you could make two of these. I mean, at Hobby Lobby, how much would y'all pay for that at Hobby Lobby? They would have that marked for like 25 or $30 just for this. And it didn't even cost me $10. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I mean, I don't even have probably $8 in it with paint and all that, but because I already had it. Yeah, you could put a word up here. You could put welcome. I don't hand letter guys, so my handwriting is terrible. Um, but you could put home up here. You could, you could even get the little cookie pans at Dollar Tree and you could put like metal across here and rust it up and make it look old and rusty and you could do that too. You could, there's so much you could do to this. But it is solid wood. I mean, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. It's so stinking cute. But, like, can you see a Christmas wreath on here? Be adorable. So now y'all got ladders, and then you got <laughs> a shutter. How many five gallons did I use? Okay, I used um, one. I used six across, and then I used one all the way down. But you could use these to go, you know, you could put one and then put one. You could do it that way. Or you could cut them and do like three on the back just to save you some money. But for time, I was just kind of do that. So there's the back. But see, they have the rulers on there too. So you could even stain it and use the ruler side and it would be really pretty. Family name would be cute, yes. Or you could put, you know, you could put Merry Christmas. You could do all kinds of stuff and give this to somebody. If somebody showed up at my house and gave this to me, I'd be like, oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> Six for the front, yes, and then one for the back. But like I said, if you don't want to break a pack of three for the back, you could use the little ones. Or you could even use um, a whole bunch of these for the back, you know. You could go, um, you know, you could zigzag them like this, like put one here, one here, one, and it would hold if you put a whole bunch. You'd be fine. Um, yes, you could do a window pane, somebody just said. Yeah, too much at Hobby Lobby, and this wasn't probably $8. I mean, because I know y'all have paint, and you probably have craft sticks and you probably have those little squares because you're like me and Solomon thought, okay, I need those for something. And I have a whole stinking bag of them. And, <laughs> um, but, but if you don't have an idea for this part, okay. So here's, here's some other ideas for that part. Cause this is what I was going to do. But then I thought, well, how am I going to hang this wreath on there? I have these spools. So dig through your stash, see what you have. I have these spools. So I was going to put a spool here and then put, my flat bead on the end of my spool and do like a little a little shaker peg almost up here and then hang my wreath and I thought well how am I going to get that to hang you know so that's how I come up with this idea was to make a handle so you know use what you have if you have the little spools or some little candle those little candle holder things make you a little knob there use what you have um yeah, I would seal it if it was outside. Barn door, yes, you could do paint this red, whatever to match your stuff, it would look so cute. Yeah, this is the 12 inch ones and I used the big ones. But now the 12 inch ones I used for this part. Yes, by your fireplace, it'd be so cute. And at Christmas, oh my goodness. But if you didn't wanna make a shutter, you could just make a sign and put some, you know, you could stencil words on here, put a truck, whatever you wanted to for Christmas, like, you know, Christmas tree farm or something. This would be so stinking cute. Yeah, it's a window and put Merry Christmas. How did you get the wood to look like it has a separate piece on the ends? This, this, these are, I just cut these. I cut the sticks. Here's the ends, but we can make gnomes out of these. And then, if you missed the other night, I made gnomes out of these little end pieces. If you missed for a Monday, so we don't we don't waste anything. I'll make something out of this. Um, and I cut them and I put the two, stacked them 
like this. I'll put, you know, one here and one there. But you could definitely cut these. They'd be harder to cut, but you could just do one across there if you wanted to. What did I use for the cross? Oh, in the back, this part? I just used a big paint stick, but I use E6000 and hot glue, but, and it's not going anywhere, but. Oh, a tray, yes, that would be cool, Kimberly, a tray. You could do a tray and you could make you some fake little handles like we did, make them bigger and not, of course, not use them, but it would just be for looks. But yes, how pretty would that be? That is beautiful, It'd be beautiful as a tray. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna pick one more person for Happy Mail. Tammy Reynolds Everhart. If you will message me, Tammy, I will send you a little gnome guy, Everhart. I will send you a little guy in the mail, but I have to wait till I get back to mail him. A snowman out of the scrap wood. Out of this, this little snowman guy. I don't have all my stuff out here to make a snowman, but I will. Um, but Christmas, and y'all really came, y'all really gave me some answers today. I asked about Christmas in July. Cause some people love it, some people hate it. Um, I probably won't do the whole month of Christmas. I didn't do that last year. I just did a, a just kind of a few in and, in, and, in and out crafts um, Christmas in July. So I will probably just do a few in July, not do like a whole month. Cause I know everybody wants to get ideas and, but then again, it's like, okay, let's get on with summer. <laughs> Cause I feel, y'all, I feel like it's going so fast. Do y'all feel like it's going so fast? I feel like we rush it so much and I can't stop and enjoy the season that we're in because I'm so worried about the, the season that's 60 days from now. Well, good, Patty. I think it's super cute. But you could change this up. You could do uh, Buffalo Check. You could do Christmas, you could do burlap, any color you want to match your stuff. Kimberly loves Christmas in July. I do too. I like Christmas anyway. Um, but the crackle paint. Yes, Marie, I have crackle medium and I could have done it on this and it will look fabulous. Um, I have to refresh myself every time I do it though. But you put dark paint, then you brush the crackle medium on maybe <laughs> I can't remember I can never remember what goes first what goes next like you put the paint and then the crackle or the crackle and then the paint I can't ever remember yes that was like yesterday I was doing Christmas in July it seems like but it's already here I mean y'all we're halfway through the year I think everyone loves a little Christmas in July yeah so I'll sprinkle a couple in there I'm not going to go overboard, but I, um, oh, Erlene had foot surgery, so it slowed you down. I bet it has. So I'm going to do some Christmas in July, do a little of everything, but I'm going to craft with y'all from the beach next week. Um, so I got some stuff I'm going to take with me and take my friends with me to the beach. And y'all know I'm going to go live and show y'all the pretty, pretty ocean. And if I go any cool stores, y'all know I'm going to go live and show y'all all the cool stuff. Because you know I'm going to go shopping. If it rains, it's definitely a shopping day. For real. <laughs> I got to go hit their Dollar Trees. I got to see what they have. Mod Podge. Okay. Thank you, Betty. Because I never can remember paint. And then you put the crackle on top. Okay. See, I, I always have to look it up. Because I, I promise that's just something that doesn't stick in my brain. If you have those things that you just, no matter how hard you try, you just can't get it to stick. Yeah, I could have used Velcro, but I'm all right. I got like a whole bunch of that fabric. It'll be okay. But yeah, you could have put Velcro and done that. Or I could have just tied it however you want to do it. Paint, dry coat with glue, then lighter paint. Yes. Okay. Oh, thank you, Judith. I just... I'm on medicine and sinus medicine and steroid shots and whatever else. 
but um but i feel a whole lot better than i did just the old sinus stuff paint then put the glue on okay because i have the bottle of the crackle stuff and i don't do it enough to know so i always have to look it up i know thank y'all for the wishes for amazing vacation but y'all are going with me because i'm going to go live from the beach taking my little light and everything They don't have a lot of DT stores in, uh-oh. But they have other stores too that I will venture out and go see. Thank y'all, y'all are so sweet. Um, and if you've seen Miss Dana on, Miss Dana is on here and she makes the cups, the known cups. Miss Dana is our new moderator helper person. And um, she's a moderator in the group now because Heather, um, that Heather March, that was our moderator, she had she got her a full-time job because you know covid and all that had kind of slowed things down and she went to work and so she was trying to juggle everything and we appreciate everything that she did for us and stuff and she's still around but she's just not a moderator anymore because she's trying to get her swing of her new job and so heather if you're watching we sure appreciate everything you did and we hope that you come back and watch and hang out with us but Miss Dana is doing that now, so she is she is on board helping me behind the scenes. So I thought I'd tell y'all that too. Um, so yes, yeah, so if I called your name and you got happy mail, message me and I will get them guys out to you probably when I get back. But um, oh, Diane's an hour from Destin. Yay, we're going to the beach. Yes, beach party, y'all come to the beach. <laughs> Panama City has three dollar stores. So see, we might just, if it rains, we might just venture out and go no telling where. <sighs> yes, I hope y'all try this. I think it's super cool. I can see it. I can just see Christmas. I can just see Christmas, like a green wreath with some little fairy lights on it. And yes, I can see totally Christmas. This kind of, maybe it's this that's making me think Christmas. Maybe it's the red. But it, this could be so done any way that you want to do it. Bonnie, this is what I made out of paint stick. <laughs> but it's, it's sturdy. Thank you, Marie. Yes, beach party, beach party. Paint, my paint sticks don't have a ruler. I want to say these came from Home Depot maybe. I know Walmart has them, Home Depot, because I go to Home Depot and get my wood, so I'm in there quite a bit. So, I think Home Depot, but these have a ruler, I think. I don't know. But these do, but and these do too. Some people don't like the, the Donna's going to the beach. See, y'all, we could just all go to everybody's beach vacation and we could just stay at the beach all summer. <laughs> Not get any work done. But it'd be really fun. Y'all are sweet. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off and go take my nighttime meds. So, I won't cough all night. Yes, I made the handle. See the little handle? I used two of these, the little cubes from Dollar Tree, those little cubes. And I cut a, paint, uh, cut a craft stick to fit over it. So it's just those two little cubes, and then I cut this, and then I glued that on top and made a handle. Just like that. Easy peasy, use what you have. Cause I knew I had some of those black handles from like Home Depot, I couldn't find them. So I was gonna use a spool and make a little peg, and then I thought no. So I changed my mind, so I just made it. <laughs> made a handle. Lowe's has them, yes. Yeah, I changed the wreath out for different holidays. Absolutely, you could do a real pretty autumn wreath with some real pretty leaves and Christmas, whatever you want to do. Bob Seeger. Yeah, Darlene, I didn't go on vacation last year either. I don't think anybody did. Making a red, white, and blue one on a smaller scale. Wood prices will start going down. I hope they start going down. Wood prices is crazy right now. 
You're about to take your NyQuil. Cheers, Susan. We're going to take NyQuil tonight. <laughs> Looks like barnwood. It does. It turned out really pretty, but it's so simple, guys. Y'all got to try it. All right, guys. I'm going to hop off and go take my NyQuil with Susan, <laughs> and I will see y'all probably Monday night. I got, a cra I got crafts planned. So if not before the end, if I don't go somewhere cool shopping, I'll I will um, I'll go live. I'll just pop on or something. But um, so I got some some crafts planned for the beach, and I will see y'all Monday night for sure. So y'all take care and um, be safe, and I will see y'all Monday night. Thanks guys for watching. See you later.